In this video, I'm going to explain the three things to know before asking the question, what size tire can I run without a lift? Stick around to the end and I'll have a detailed example of how better to ask that question. As always, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. First, the question itself. Now I'm gonna answer the question, but I first wanna explain the variables you need to think through. First is what type of terrain do you ride? Because the type of tire can be drastically different depending on the terrain. For example, eight and a half inch wide mud tire is gonna fit different than a 10 inch rock tire. The next is the variable of the wheel offset. Setting on factory wheels versus aftermarket wheels with a different offset makes a big difference also if it's going to rub or not. The last variable is the type of machine. A Turbo S can handle an increased tire size much different than a K&M Defender can because of how the fronts are designed. Those are some of the reasons why this question is so subjective. Second is how to better ask the question. <laughs> Most every person I've ever met in these groups want to help answer someone's question. But when we have more experience, you start to realize how broad that question is. So narrow it down for everybody. Decide which tire you like and ask people their opinion on that tire. Here's how that would sound. I'm looking to buy some Rockzillas. Has anyone with the Razor XP1000 tried them out yet? Then if you get a response, ask that person if he or she has experienced rubbing issues. This way you have the ability to ask what's all been done to their machine and what size tire are they running. That way if it gives you a better understanding what to expect or what will need to be done to run the tire size you're looking at running. Third is my answer to the question. Keep in mind when I say my answer, I mean how I figured out the answer for myself. I'm not telling you to use this, so take it for what it is. With the past machines we've owned, I've noticed I've been able to get an inch to two inches bigger in tire size on a stock machine with no rubbing. For example, our 2019 Ranger High Lifter that comes with 28 inch Outlaw 2s, I was able to fit a 30 inch trail tire on it with no rubbing and full compression. When we had our Razor 1000 XP, I was able to fit a 33 inch, eight and a half inch wide BKT with minimum rubbing. I've even seen a 72 inch X3 that comes with 30 inch stock tires fit a 37 BKT with minimal rubbing. So it's very subjective when it comes to tire sizes and what you can increase to. But what you have to keep in mind is that increasing the tire size is you run the risk of creating failure point within the drivetrain system. In conclusion, when figuring out tire size, first figure out the exact tire you want. This will help getting better feedback on the size tire you can run. Now check out the description of this video for links to all the helpful products we suggest. Using the links in our description to buy these products helps us to continue to bring you great information like this video. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video has helped, then please smash the like button and thank you for watching.